Uh, the first question that was sent, um, how do we apply the scriptures? Uh, let's see here. It says, Shalom, my question for Q&A is when it said you must apply the scriptures to your life or a particular situation, what exactly does that mean? Do you pray that particular scripture when you go to the Most High? Or is it something that has to be meditated on? All right. So, all right. Give me uh, Sirach 19, officer. So it says, when it is said, you must apply the scriptures to your life. All right. We're just going to show you what it means to apply the scriptures to your life. All right. To get a better understanding. Um, 19 and 20. Read that. The book of Sirach. Chapter 19 and verse 20. Come on. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Mm -hmm. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. There it is. All right. So that's application. All right. Performance would be you actually applying the scriptures. So a lot of brothers and sisters, give me um, give me the one in Sirach 37, I believe it is. Let me look at it in 16. Is that what I want? Nah, ver uh, verse 19. The book of... Yeah, read that. Sirach, chapter 37 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. There is one that is wise and teacheth many, and yet is unprofitable to himself. Right. So is one that knows a lot of scriptures, knows the laws, knows the commandments, but he's unprofitable to himself. How is he unprofitable? Because he was not able to figure out how to actually apply the laws. Uh, 2 Timothy 3.7. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. Come on. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Read that again. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Right. So you could what? You could read a bunch of books. Uh, give me that in, um, was it uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and uh, 12? Or, uh, yeah, 12 and 12. Be admonished? Yeah, 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 yeah. Read that one. Ecclesiastes yeah. chapter 12 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. Right. Much study is a weariness of the flesh. So you could be one of those brothers and one of those sisters who study, 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 but you're unprofitable to yourself because you never came to the knowledge of the truth, meaning you never learned how to actually apply God's laws in your life. That's what it's talking about. Um, but we'll go in to some examples. Um, give me Proverbs 2 real quick, though. Proverbs chapter 2. And start at verse 1. Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 1. Come on. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, mm -hmm. so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom. Right. Incline thine ear unto wisdom. Read. And apply thine heart to understanding. And apply thine heart to understanding. Right. And apply thine heart to understanding. Right. So the apply, meaning what? You are ready to hear, right? You want to learn more, but the key is applying the application that we read in Sirach 19 and 20. Let's go back to Sirach. The book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 27. Come on. Search and seek, and she may be known unto thee. That she is going into wisdom or knowledge. Read. And when thou hast got hold of her, mm -hmm. let her not go. Right. Come on. For at the last thou shalt find her rest. That and that shall be turned to thy joy. Mm -hmm. Then shall then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee. Come on. And her chains be a robe of glory. Right. For, for there is a golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace. Right. So it says when we hold on to wisdom, it's uh it makes you how can we say noble? You have a nobility about yourself. That gold right there is going into the colors of royalty. It's honorable. It's noble. All right, read on. Thou shalt put her on 
as a robe of honor. Come on. And shall put her about thee as a crown of joy. Read. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. Uh huh. And if thou wilt apply thy mind. And if thou wilt do what? Apply thy mind. Come on. Thou shalt be prudent. Thou shalt be prudent. Meaning careful, circumspect, diligent. All right. So that if you apply. You good, officer? All right. If you apply, you would have these intangibles. Uh, I'll give you some examples. Let's go to Luke, the second chapter. Luke chapter 2, and we'll jump around a little bit. Um, Luke chapter 2, and I want verse. Start at verse uh, 5. Luke chapter 2 and verse 5. Come on. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, mm -hmm. being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. Mm -hmm. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Uh, jump down to verse 11. Verse 11. Come on. For unto you is born this day in the city of David mm -hmm. a savior which is Christ the Lord. Right, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Um, Jump down to verse 19. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Read. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen mm -hmm. as it was told unto them. Read. And when eight days were accomplished. Now when what? Eight days were accomplished. Read. For the circumcising of the child. For the circumcising of the child. Read. His name was called Jesus. Come on. Which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Mm -hmm. So the angel gave Mary a uh, commandment of why it happened and what was wh who he was all right um she listened to it she understood it but understand this verse 21 is according to what according to the law according to the law on circumcision all right read verse 21 again Verse 21, uh -huh. and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, Read. his name was called Jesus, Come on. which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. 22, and when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, according to what? According to the law of Moses uh -huh. were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Let's go to that. Let's go to Leviticus 12. We're coming right back. Let's go to Leviticus 12. All right. So we're going to read about the law of the purification. What is that talking about? Uh, Leviticus 12 and start at verse 1. Leviticus chapter 12 and verse 1. Come on. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed. That means she had sex and conception took place, because that's what conceived means. Read. And born a man child. Uh -huh. Then she shall be unclean seven days. Shall be what? Unclean seven days. She shall be unclean seven days. Read. According to the days of the separation for her infirmity, shall she be unclean. Right. So after she gives birth to that man child, seven days, she's going to be unclean. This is what? The law of purification. What we just read in Luke 2. Read on. Verse 3. Uh-huh. And in the eighth day. The flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. Shall be what? Circumcised. Let's go back. Let's go back to Luke 2. Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. Uh-huh. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, Come on. his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Mm -hmm. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. All right, read. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Shall be called holy to the Lord. Uh, give me that in Exodus 13. Give me Exodus 13. Okay. Exodus uh, 13 and 2. Read that. Exodus chapter 13 and verse 2. Uh huh. Sanctify unto me all the firstborn. Whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, 
both of man and of beast, it is mine. Right. So what are we seeing? We are seeing what? Um, Joseph and Mary apply the scriptures, right? Not just saying, hey, I know the precept on circumcision. I know the precept on um, the laws of uncleanness. No, that's that's two separate things. To know it is one side of things, but to actually apply it is something totally different. Something totally different. And that's what we're showing. We're showing application of God's laws. Uh, Luke 2. And let's go to verse 20, um, 27. Luke chapter 2 and verse 27. Come on. And he came by the spirit into the temple. Mm -hmm. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law. After the what? After the custom of the law. Read. Then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. Mm -hmm. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to a light to lighten the Gentiles. Right. So that's what Isaiah 9 is going into Matthew 4, 15, a light into the Gentiles. What? Right. Now jump down to verse 39. Watch verse, this. Verse 39. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord. Right. That's the key. And when they had done what? Performed all things according to the law of the Lord. Read. They returned to into Galilee, to their own city, Nazareth. Read. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom. And the grace of God was upon him. Come on. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of Passover. Right. So there you go. That's according. That's the performance. That's the application of God's laws. Uh, give me Second Kings real quick. Second Kings chapter 23 and verse 24. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirits and the wizards and the images and the idols and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem did, did Josiah put away that he might perform the word. That word, he might do what? That he might perform the words of the law which were written in the book that Hilkiah, the priest found in the house of the Lord. Right. We shall have no abominations. You read that, what, Daniel 7? Not Daniel, but Deuteronomy 7, 25 and 26. All right. So the book that he found was the Bible, was the book of the law. Okay. But the key was Josiah put away all the idols. Why? Because the Bible tells him to do that. And by him doing that, he performed the words of the law. You understand? That's performing. That's application. Now, give me Second Ezra real quick. Second Ezra chapter seven. All right. So we gave examples on how to actually perform the law. Now here's an example of that uh, Sirach thirty-seven and nineteen. Uh, give me Second Ezra seven, and start at verse twenty-one. Second Ezra chapter seven and verse twenty-one. Come on. For God hath given straight commandment to such as came. Mm -hmm. What they should do to live. Right. God gave us commandment on what we should do or what we should apply on our everyday uh, trials, tribulations, and our everyday life. That's how we live, by the application of God's laws. Read. Even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. And what they should do to observe, observe to avoid punishment. That's what we read in um, 2 Kings 23 with Josiah. He put away the idols, so he could avoid punishment. Uh, read on. Verse 22. Come on. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. But we was uh, stubborn, hard-headed. Come on. But spake against him. Uh-huh. And imagined vain things. Read. And deceived themselves by their wicked deeds. Mm -hmm. And said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. Right. So meaning what? We didn't fear God. All right. Saying that uh, he is not that's saying, that's a slap in the face. He's the creator of heaven and earth, but we lived as if he was not. Read on. But his law have they despised uh -huh. and denied his covenants. And in, in his statutes have they not been faithful. Come on. And have not performed his works. And did what? Not performed his works. There it is. So to apply the scriptures is to do that. Not just study and know them. When the situation actually come up in your life, 
to actually carry it out. For example, for example, you have a man child. The law says you cannot lay with your wife for 40 days. You have a a girl. The law says you cannot lay with your wife for 80 days. It's not, oh, I know that precept, and then you're like, babe, that's not what it's really saying. No, that's not no, it is saying exactly that. You have to apply the actual scripture. That's what that's talking about. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs> 